come away and help me draw the Lewis structure of magnesium chloride, MgCl2. Now, anything to the left of this staircase on the periodic table is usually a metal. Hydrogen's the exception, but magnesium is definitely an alkaline earth metal. Chlorine is a non-metal because it comes from the right side of the periodic table. When metals and non-metals get together, you make an ionic compound. The metals want to give its electrons away to the non-metals. Now, magnesium is in group two. That means it brings two valence electrons with it. One, two. Chlorine is in group 17. That means it brings seven valence electrons with it. So I'm going to draw my CL. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven valence electrons. Note that I spread them out before I doubled them up. Now, non-metals satisfy the octet rule. They want a full outer shell to be stable. A full outer shell of eight electrons. That's why it's called the octet rule. This chlorine has seven. It's so close, but it needs one more electron to be happy and stable. This magnesium is a metal and will gladly give up its electron. There it goes. Gone. Now this chlorine is happy and stable with eight electrons around it. But this magnesium still has one extra electron to give away. Where is it going to go? If you bring in a second chlorine atom with its seven electrons, magnesium can give that extra electron away as well. This means that magnesium will have no electrons left. That's ideal and stable. These chlorines will have full eight outer electrons in their outer shells. That satisfies the octet rule and makes them stable. This is on our way. Let's draw it to give ourselves the final Lewis structure. Cl now has a full eight electrons in its outer shell. That's one more than it started with. So it gets a minus one charge. You have to draw two of them because, well, you needed two CLs to absorb the electrons that magnesium was passing out for free over here. Magnesium itself gave away its electrons, so don't put any dots with it. And because it gave away two electrons, it has a plus two charge. This is my personal preferred Lewis structure for magnesium chloride. Note that there are two CLs and one Mg. That's why the formula is MgCl2. Two CLs to bond with a single Mg. That's the way it is. Now you might be able to take a shortcut here and show that there are two chlorines. Gotta draw that out for every one magnesium. This just saves you from having to draw it out twice. Some teachers will accept that. Find out if it's allowed before you do it. Again, I teach this, and this is my personal preferred one. But they're both valid in the real world. Thanks for helping me out. You're going to the good place. I promise. Best of luck.